Both fighters are on five fight unbeaten streaks. I have to get thrown that caveat because Oberg is on a true five fight win streak. Alonzo Menafield, there's one draw in there. So five fights unbeaten. So this is a really interesting clash because Alonzo Menafield has been ranked for a little minute. Carlos Oberg, on the other hand, he's like, yo, this is my opportunity to jump into the top 15. And with this stylistic matchup right here, this is a real opportunity to do it. So let's let the cat out the bag before we jump into the analysis right here. AJ, clearly you like Oberg in this fight, correct? Oh, absolutely, Derek. And if you had to just throw out a couple of intangibles from the tape that you watch, what stands out to you watching Carlos Oberg? I like his striking a lot. Obviously, the distance control timing and how calculated he goes into his process, right? Setting up traps, reading things. He's a very intelligent fighter coming out of that very, uh, very well, uh, well renowned, well renowned uh, city kickback, city kickboxing camp. And man, he can he can put the power to you as well. Well renowned, yes, sir. And yes, a lot. Uh, Carlos Olberg checks every single box that you just ticked off right there, right? There's another thing that Carlos Olberg does, and that he counter strikes very well. He plays the game, he sticks and moves, touches, touches, goes, right? He dances on you proverbially, which makes sense. Israel Adesanya, city kickboxing, it, it makes sense, right? Now, we have a man here, AJ, who I think is often discredited, who is not valued the way that he should be in Alonzo Menafield, who has a fantastic team as well in Fortis MMA, Safe Saud, the general, and again, disrespected by the odds makers. So at open, plus 185 was the comeback for Menafield, minus 225 for Carlos Oberg. If you look live right now, the number has shifted pretty drastically, plus 220 for Menafield. Minus 270 for Carlos Olberg. So massive, massive favorite is Carlos Olberg. Carlos Olberg, excuse me. My first question before we jump into the Alonzo Menafield breakdown is, do you pay Carlos Olberg against a nuclear bomb in Alonzo Menafield at minus 270? Do you pay that price? No, not even close. <laughs> Why is that not a fair price? Man, I, I was honestly expecting the odds to go the other way, Derek, because Alonzo Menafield has such power, such bombs in his hands. All it takes is one. And, and this dude is explosive. This dude is athletic. He can close that distance while the Black Jag is trying to set up, trying to play that chess match we're talking about. Next thing you know, you're sleeping, man. So I agree with you right there. And this is not this is not a whole setup to be like, AJ, you should agree with me. That's not what this is about at all. What this is about is Alonzo Menafield. He's a mixed martial artist as well. He doesn't just strike. He's not just pure power. He could wrestle too. So the issue with this matchup comes, should Carlos Oberg be the favorite? In my opinion, yes. I think rightfully so. He should be a favorite in this fight. Should he be a minus 270 favorite? I don't agree with that line. And the reason being is because Alonzo Menafield has too many threats that can come back at him again he can wrestle he could shut you out with one shot and as long as he could stay away from just getting pieced up by a jab all night long and letting Olberg just dance around the cage all night long he has a shot one shot is all it takes to get the victory right here but then again AJ even though he just came off of that big win against Dustin Jacoby the Hanyak right it's super impressive way more impressive than even a Carlos Olberg victory in my eyes I think you you have to take into consideration Menafield swings wild he gets tired if Olberg can maintain his poise, he can make this look like a master class and catapult himself damn near to a top 10 position right here. So that's where I see the favorite there on Olberg. Do you think that's reasonable right here? Obviously, it's in the realm of possibility, but is Menafield truly that that kind of fighter to where Olberg could just out technical him and just dance around in 15 minutes? I think so, Derek, and and maybe not to a drastic extent, extent whenever we start the fight, but as the fight goes on, as, as uh, Olberg is able to see those holes, kind of put the traps together, make his way to that dance, then that's where we really start to see the, the crowd separate, if you will. But the thing is, like you said, with Alonzo Menafield, the one thing that worries me, obviously the takedowns, the 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 power that he has, but his explosiveness in those moments, man, that, that right there does worry me. But if we can see that jab and that dance happening, I do... Uh, I agree with you. I think Olberg should be the rightful favorite in this one. But if you look at the props right here, this is the other part where I just say sometimes the odds makers will present something to you that you I cannot agree with. Carlos Olberg minus 115 TKO. Okay, I get it. You think you're going to put the lights out on Menafield. When's the last time Menafield got knocked out? OSP back in 2020 right? It's not a common occurrence right here. There's one time in his last 10 fights. So for the ability, I know Olberg's knocking people out, but like, come on, you know what I mean? Lots of finishes for Olberg. Alonzo Menafield's a little bit of a different guy. Plus 400 TKO for Alonzo Menafield. AJ, if that's not juice, I don't know what juice is. Like, if you're looking at most likely outcome of victory, boom, that's it right there. And it's at plus 400. Do you hedge that? Even if your call is Olberg better, throw five, 10 bucks on plus 400 TKO for Menafield. 
Absolutely. Absolutely throw some cash on that one right there. That's the best chance for Alonzo Minifield to win this fight and at plus 400 odds. It'd be it'd be very unwise, I'll say that. Unwise not to just put some cash on that, man. He can get it done. Don't sleep on Minifield right here. I am an Olberg better, and I'm definitely looking to put some cash on Olberg, but seeing that prop, you're not going to get Alonzo Minifield K TKO prop at plus 400. It's wild. Yeah, yeah. So I think again, when we're pulling out the macro, bringing it back in, this is a this is a technical fighter versus a dude who could shut your lights out and who can wrestle. Cardio is the big red flag for Alonzo Menafield, and then for Carlos Olberg, if he gets taken down, I mean, can he get back up? I don't know. That Ihor Potoria, uh, Potoria, excuse me, victory that Olberg had, a little fishy. You know what I mean? Shot in the back of the head. He drops. You caught him. Fair, right? The Daun Jung. Good win, but aside from that, the only wins that have like really stood out to me, the Nicola uh, Negamedianu and the Tafan and Chukwi. You cannot argue with those. If you could do that to Alonzo Menafield, no more doubts on Carlos Olberg. You are absolutely the real deal. So this is going to be another one of those proving ground fights right here. I'm going with the upside play. I'm going with the value play. Give me Alonzo Menafield, TKO plus 400. AJ, Carlos Olberg, but how does he get it done? Carlos Olberg by decision. Give me that plus 350, man. I'm looking for that jab all night long. All right, fair play.